Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. For today's video, I'm going to talk about Royal Debit Cards because I was in the bank and I suddenly realized that we had never talked about Royal Debit Cards on this channel before. And uh, I need a topic to cover because I... I didn't make a video this week. I thought it was going to be another video that would go up and then that got pushed back to next week. So now I'm making this video and I apologize in advance if it is super short. Okay, so I don't know a lot about Braille debit cards, but from what I understand, all the numbers that, I don't know, I guess used to be on the front are now in the back. I don't know. I always thought there was like a number on the front and then the the VCN or whatever that's called, like the, the three digit code number and another number is on the back. That's how I always thought of it, but I guess that's, I guess I was wrong the whole time. So anyway, from what I understand, instead of them being written out in print, someone correct me if I'm wrong, Instead of them being written out in print on the card, they're actually written out in Braille. And I only know of one bank where you can get Braille debit cards in the United States. And that is the bank that I'm currently switching from, which is U.S. Bank. And I will get into the reasons why I'm doing that in another video coming up very, very soon, possibly next week. But, <laughs> my bank that I am switching to is actually looking into whether or not they can get me a Braille debit card. And I just thought, it's Living Blind Friday, let's just document this so that I can document the kindness of people because there really are very kind, able-bodied people out there, and sometimes when you ask for help, you receive help. So basically, when I went in today, I was like, is there any way I can get a Braille debit card? And I'm dealing with a loan officer currently, it's a long story again, I'll go into that in next week's video, but I am dealing with the whole situation. And so she was kind of helping me out. And she was like, I didn't know you can do that, but I'm sure our debit card company is big enough to think that they can probably do that. And I was like, I don't want to just be a nuisance and ask for it just for myself. Like, I don't know if <laughs> y'all have any other blind people or what, but... I feel like this would benefit other people. So the main point is, is if you are at a smaller bank, or even if you are at a larger bank in the United States, go and ask for a Braille debit card so that they can be put unawares that you, and possibly others, might or might not need a Braille debit card. Because all the bank that I'm switching to had was a card with raised numbers on it, print raised numbers, which wouldn't be a big deal if I could have read print previously, which is a whole other topic for a whole other day, but basically I cannot read print, I can only read braille, and that is not the case with every blind person, but for me it is, <laughs> so print would not have helped me, and I feel like a braille debit card would help me. Because all the information would be on the card, just like everybody else's information. And when somebody needed my card information over the phone or whatever, instead of being like, hold on a minute, let me go to my computer. I gotta look at my computer because I can't see, you know, going through this whole long explanation. I can just pull out my card and be like, oh yeah, the card number, blah, 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 blah. So, definitely... Definitely go into your bank and ask for that. If you live in another country, let me know how this works in your country because I'm curious. 
that's all I got for you today. Leave a comment if you have a question, idea, suggestion. Like my Facebook page. Follow my Twitter. There are two of them. Don't forget about that. There is a TikTok of which you can follow. And please follow my Odyssey. And you can find all of that down in the description below and below the about section of my youtube page my email address is stuffy on youtube at gmail.com if you would like to email me and you can find that in the about section of my youtube page and down in the description below and i will see y'all in tomorrow's video Bye.